Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Today we continue our series uh, study of love for one another. And today we are going to uh, go through lesson three, which is titled Love Versus Guilt. To kind of bring you up to date on our story of Joseph. The famine has come to the land and Jacob, Joseph's father, has learned that there is grain in Egypt. So he sends all his sons, except for one, the youngest, Benjamin, uh, to buy grain. And that's where our scripture picks up. And our focus scripture today is from the 42nd chapter of Genesis, beginning with the 6th verse, going through verse 25. Now Joseph was governor over the land. It was he who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the ground. When Joseph saw his brothers, he recognized them, but he treated them like strangers and spoke harshly to them. Where do you come from, he said. They said, from the land of Canaan to buy food. Although Joseph had recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him. Joseph also remembered the dreams that he had dreamed about them. He said to them, You are spies. You have come to see the nakedness of the land. They said, said to him, No, my lord, your servants have come to buy food. We are all sons of one man. We are honest men. Your servants have never been spies. But he said to them, No, you have come to see the nakedness of the land. They said, We, your servants, are twelve brothers the sons of a certain man in the land of Canaan. The youngest, however, is now with our father, and one is no more. But Joseph said to them, It is just as I have said to you, you are spies. Here is how you shall be tested, as Pharaoh lives. You shall not leave this place unless your youngest brother comes here. Let one of you go and bring your brother, while the rest of you remain in prison, in order that your words may be tested, whether there is truth in you or else, as Pharaoh lives, surely you are spies. And he put them all together in prison for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this, and you will live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers stay here where you are in prison. The rest of you shall go and carry grain for the famine of your households and bring your youngest brother to me. Thus your words will be verified and you shall not die. And they agreed to do so. They said to one another, Alas, we are paying the penalty for what we did to our brother. We saw his anguish when he pleaded with us, but we would not listen. That is why this anguish has become upon us. Then Reuben answered them, Did I not tell you not to wrong the boy? But you would not listen. So now there comes a reckoning for his blood. They did not know that Joseph understood them, since he spoke with them through an interpreter. He turned away from them and wept. Then he returned and spoke to them. And he picked out Simon and had him bound before their eyes. Joseph then gave orders to fill their bags with grain to return every man's money to his sack, and to give them provisions for their journey. This was done for them. wonder what is going through Joseph's mind when he recognizes his brothers. First, he shows anger to his brothers. Uh, It's revealed for the first time to Joseph that he has a younger brother. Imagine the effect that had on his thoughts and emotions. Uh, Joseph first demands that their younger brother must come uh, before him before they will be allowed to return. And he tells them to send one brother to go bring back the younger brother while the others will remain there in prison. Then Joseph decides to put them all in prison and he leaves them there for three days. Joseph, to me, appears to be confused as to what to do 
and how to react to seeing his brothers and maybe the fact that they do not recognize him. Uh, maybe he kept them in prison for those days just to sort out his thoughts and his feelings. After three days, Joseph changes his demand and sends all but one of the brothers back to Canaan to get the younger brother. He sends with them the needed grain and instructs his workers to put the money they paid in the bags of the grain. Joseph's love for his brothers is coming to the surface. Then Joseph hears his brothers conversation about how they regret how they had treated him and they uh, were now being punished. Uh, Joseph is, is overcome by emotion. Uh, so Joseph's anger is departing. God is beginning to reveal his plan that he had for Joseph. We will continue the story of Joseph in our next lesson. Let us pray. Gracious and holy God, lead us for death from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, Amen.